Good afternoon, everybody. We are going to be doing a color mixing experiment today using a couple simple supplies, one of them being a strip of paper towel. If you don't have paper towel, you can also do this activity with a coffee filter that looks like this. You're also going to need markers in the three primary colors, blue, red, and yellow. And you're also going to want a placemat of some kind. I'm using the lid to a box and some kind of water. You can do this in a spray bottle or you can just pour some water onto your paper towel to get this experiment to work. In front of you is a preview of what it's going to do once it's been sitting for a while, but I'm gonna go ahead and move this out of the way so that you can see um, how to get started. So let me move this out of the way. And then we'll go ahead and get started. All right, I'm gonna grab my piece of paper towel. I'm working with a small slice of paper towel. I cut this smaller so it was a little bit easier to work with. And I'm gonna go ahead and add my marker. So I'm gonna start with some blue. And on my paper towel, I'm gonna color a splotch with my blue marker. I'm gonna make sure that this is colored in nice and thick. Put the cap on when I'm done. Then I'm gonna to switch to yellow. And I'm gonna put a patch of yellow right here in the middle. And notice how I'm leaving a white space between the colors. This is gonna come in later. So this is going to be important for later. Put the cap back on. And the last primary color we're going to use is red. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some red over here and I'm still leaving a white space between the colors. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of leapfrog and I'm gonna take this red. I'm also gonna put some red over here on this side. So I'm gonna color with some red, leaving some white space in between. Okay, so. The next step is to add water to my paper towel. And again, you can use a spray bottle for this or you can use a cup and just pour some water onto it. Just make sure you have a placemat underneath to catch any drips. And you don't want it so wet that your paper towel is sitting in a puddle of water. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this wet. All right, now the next part is the part that is my least favorite because I have to be patient and wait for the water to spread through the paper towel. You'll start to notice that some of your colors will start to move on their own. Wherever the water goes, the color will follow it. And eventually the colors are going to start to ooze into each other a little bit and new colors are going to form. I'm gonna go ahead and wiggle this a little bit. So I'm gonna pull this shimmy shimmy side to side a little bit. I'm gonna help this along. All right, now I'm gonna wait again. Now you can start to see that the white spaces in between are no longer staying white. As the water is moving through the paper towel, it's pulling the colors with it. And when the primary colors start to mix, they will create those wonderful secondary colors. So over here, when the red starts to hit the yellow, it's going to start to make orange. Where the yellow and the blue over here start to mix, you will notice another secondary color. And over here, when red and blue start to mix, you'll see the last secondary color, but I won't give it away. So I'm gonna keep shimmying this a little bit. Just helping these colors move a little bit. And the longer this sits, the more these colors are gonna to ooze together. And when you're done and you've let it wait for a while, you will end up with a beautiful 
rainbow tie-dyed paper towel. So have fun experimenting with the color mixing using water, markers, and paper towel. You can have fun exploring with the primary colors. If you want to try mixing colors with other colors, go for it. It's always fun to experiment and try new things. Have fun, everybody.